of uh, scientific activities on board here of the International Space Station in the field of uh, biology, material science. And uh, right now we also have a shuttle and we are installing new equipment at the outside of the International Space Station for the Japanese Space Agency. Over. The ISS project is an international project by uh, five organizations, NASA, uh, Russian organization Roscosmos, Japanese uh, organization, uh, Canada and Europe. And all those countries participate in the cost of the ISS. Over. Living in a small space for a few days, of course, it's not so easy, but it's also not so difficult because you know it's only for a few days and you're looking forward to uh, entering in a bigger place. And also you fly together with uh, very good friends, so it's not a problem at all. I would very much uh, like to participate to a uh, voyage to the moon. Uh, I think that uh, it will not be soon that we will go to the moon, so it will be for my newer colleagues, maybe uh, the Italian astronaut uh, Samantha or somebody else that will fly to the moon. And for sure I hope that when you guys are all uh, a little bit bigger that you can fly to the moon or even to Mars. Over. And the ISS inside smells almost uh, like nothing. We have very good filters here, so all the odors, all the smells uh, that come off uh, equipment of ourselves uh, when we do sports, sweat, is all taken up by the filter, so we have very clean air here on board of the ISS. Over. There is indeed still a magnetic field in the ISS orbit, the Earth magnetic field, goes up to about uh, 3,000 kilometers. And this is very good for us because it protects us from the radiation from the cosmos. Over. Yes, we can breathe normally on board of the ISS because we have a normal atmosphere here like we have on the Earth with the same pressures as we have on Earth. So we live here like we live on Earth in uh, a t-shirt and in normal uh, clothes. And we can breathe easily. Over. We actually uh, have lights on board of the space station uh, that are on the entire day for us, our working day. And when we go to sleep, and we sleep for eight hours, then we turn off all the lights and we close all the windows, so it's dark. So we make an artificial day here on the space station. Over. I trained for about uh, four to five years uh, to participate in this mission. Over. If we get sick in space, we have uh, a American uh, medicine cabinet here in space. And also if uh, we would get really sick and we cannot uh, get better, we can jump in our Soyuz and within three hours we can be back on Earth. Over. They are very happy for me because they know that I love my job and uh, so they are very happy that I can do what I want and what I love. Over. is more uh, dangerous because during the takeoff you still have some uh, systems that can rescue the crew, emergency systems, and during the landing you only have one go at the landing and everything needs to work perfectly. Over. We have plenty of food here on the space station. Uh, we usually eat out of cans or out of uh, little packets that we can prepare with uh, hot water. We have all types of food, European food, American food, uh, Japanese food and Russian food. Over. Yes, it would be possible if we make a big uh, centrifuge. For the humans, of course, it would be very difficult because the centrifuge would have to be very, very big. We have artificial gravity 
for experiments, but they are on very small centrifuges. Uh, but for the plant growth, for example, we use this effect in the ISS. Over. Because uh, 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 2,000 degrees. Over. The most spectacular moment uh, during my stay in space was the first time that I could look outside the window and that I could see our magnificent planet. How beautiful she is, but also how fragile she is and our, how thin our atmosphere is. Over. I can communicate with my family on Earth uh, through a kind of telephone system, so from time to time we can call the family on Earth. We also have email that we can use from time to time, not all the time, but sometimes we can use email. And uh, that's about it. Over. Living without gravity is just great. We can float uh, around the entire day. Uh, it's very nice uh, to do that. Uh, it's very nice like to float and to swim through the ISS. And uh, for the moment I'm standing on my head here uh, in the Russian side of the service module and I'm floating around and it's extremely, extremely nice.